everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2014 movie Captain America the Winter Soldier. The movie is directed by Joe and Anthony Russo and written by Christopher Marcus and Stephen Feely, who have worked on previous Marvel movies, including uh, Thor the Dark World. Um, this movie uh, takes place not too long after the first Avengers movie, and um, in this movie, Captain America and Black Widow team up after a conspiracy going on throughout S.H.I.E.L.D. has happened, and uh, there was an attack on Nick Fury, and we find out that S.H.I.E.L.D.'s been overtaken by Hydra, who had been secretly working with S.H.I.E.L.D. for many, many years and everything, and so uh, Captain America and Black Widow are trying to take down S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything, so uh, before they uh, cause chaos all over the world, and they're also having to deal with the assassin who was trying to assassinate them. And everything and we find out that the assassin is actually Bucky Barnes who's going by uh, his nickname the Winter Soldier um, find out that Bucky had survived the fall in the uh, first movie due to ex the experiments they were using on him when he was held captive during World War two so um, but yeah the, this movie is really fast paced for the most part it it goes by really quick there is a little bit of slow parts in the middle and everything but nothing too awful bad or anything it's not enough to really make the movie feel dull or anything it, it's pretty fast paced um, the score by Henry Jackman is really good it fits this type of movie it feels like a conspiracy uh, spy thriller type of movie and it, they do a really good job with the music in this movie helping it have that feel to it um, the cinematography by Trent Opalock is pretty good um, not the best in the MCU but definitely not the worst either just, and everything but it, the cinematography in this movie isn't near as good as cinematography in Captain America the First Avenger but it's still pretty good um, the editing by Jeffrey Ford and Matthew Schmidt is good um, they did a really good job editing this movie and everything um, I thought that was pretty good um, and, but uh, yeah this is a really fun movie the cast is really good um, Chris Evans is great as Steve Rogers and Captain America as always um, he does a really great job in this I think this is one of his best performances and as the character and everything um, Scarlett Johansson is excellent as Black Widow again I I like that we even though we don't get a whole bunch of her backstory or anything she just she's a lot better written in this movie than I think she is in any of the other ones before it and everything and I just really like the way she is in this um, Samuel Jackson's back in this is Nick Fury and he's absolutely wonderful I mean Samuel Jackson just makes everything better and everything and uh, this is the movie where Nick Fury gets the most screen time and has the most important role for Nick Fury in any of these films everything I really like him in this uh, uh, everything now I think Samuel Jackson did it's just a, just does a as great of a job as he always does in this mo movie um, Sebastian Stan plays Bucky again um, and I think he does a really great job because uh, this version of Bucky versus the one from the one from the first Captain America movie are two totally different types of of character and they did a he did a really great job playing this different version of Bucky um, 
Haley Atwell also has a small appearance in this, uh, since this movie is set all set like 70 years after the first Avenger. She's of course an old woman now and everything, and they did an excellent job on her uh, makeup effects and everything. I mean, I could bear I I almost thought when I saw it the very first time, I thought it was just an older woman playing her. I didn't realize they had used Haley Atwell and used makeup. They did a really great job with the makeup and everything, and she did a really great job playing the older version. I, I just really thought that the, uh, the way they did that, it looked really awesome and everything. Um, Emily Van Camp plays Sharon Carter, who uh, is Steve's neighbor. Um, they kind of have the have this little flirting going on and everything but he doesn't know that she's uh Peggy's niece or anything I don't think he I don't know if he even knows about it in this movie I can't remember I don't I think he do, does find out but I mean uh but yeah she she does a really good job as Sharon Carter and everything and the chemistry between her and Chris Evans is really good um Anthony Mackie plays Sam Wilson, who becomes the, the superhero Falcon, and uh, I really like him. I think the chemistry between him and Chris Evans is perfect. Uh, they work very, very well together. And he, personally, I think if they, if once Chris Evans is done as Captain America, if they give the Captain America mantle to a different character, I really hope they go with Sam Wilson. So I just I, Anthony. Mackie is just really, really good in the role, and uh, he makes Sam Wilson very, very likable, and I think he would be a worthy candidate to be Captain America. Um, Robert Redford plays Alexander Pierce, who is an old comrade of uh, Nick Fury. They had worked together a lot when they were younger and everything, and he works for S.H.I.E.L.D., but he secretly kind of like the leader, new leader of Hydra, I guess, and everything, but uh, Robert Redford does a really good job playing this character, it's not, I'm not a very huge fan of Robert Redford, but I thought he did a good job playing the villain in this, and uh, he did a good, he's kind of like Jeff Bridges in the first Iron Man, I'm not a very big fan of Jeff Bridges as an actor, but I thought he was great in the first Iron Man movie, and I think that Robert Redford was really good in this movie. And Frank Grillo plays uh, Brock Romlo. He's one of the ones working for S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything. He's uh, one of the ones after Captain America and everybody throughout the whole movie. And he does a good job playing this character um, and everything. He doesn't have a whole lot to do in this movie because he's mainly just trying to uh, go after Captain America and them uh, and everything, but he's he does a good enough job and everything, and he has a small but important role in the next Captain America movie and everything. But I'll talk about that when I get to that movie's review. Um, but I feel like all of the cast in this movie was really great. Like. The MCU, they, they never really have a lot of problems with their casting choices, except for, I think, like, maybe Natalie Portman in the Thor movies, and uh, Terrence Howard in the first Captain America, I mean, uh, Iron Man movie, I'm sorry, uh, but this is a, this is a really well done sequel, um, I think it's a little bit better than the first Avenger, and everything, and it's a, it's a lot of fun to watch. I mean, it goes by really quick and everything. And, uh, I like the twist with Bucky because you don't really know who he is at first. And then you find out that he's actually Bucky and everything. And it, it, it's a really good twist and everything. And I just think this was a fun movie. It could have been a little bit better, but it but I don't see how it, how it could have been a lot better because it was it's still a really good movie and uh, I also love Stan Lee's cameo in this he's working at the music the 
like this old war museum that had uh, Captain America's costume and uh, Steve had taken his old costume back and he's like oh man I'm so getting fired just it cracks me up a great cameo and everything but uh, I'd give Captain America the Winter Soldier 9 out of 10 because it's a it's a really good movie the story is really gripping the characters are well written the action is some of the best in the MCU um, in fact I think it's probably the best action in the Captain America trilogy and everything um, and it's definitely has some of the best action sequences in the series and it's a lot of fun to watch and everything and uh, but um, anyway if there's any more top 10 list movie reviews or movie series rankings you'd like me to do let me know in the comments and I'll get to them as quick as I can and um, you can follow me on Facebook at Ogreboy1992 and uh, if you like to talk about movies or you like reviewing movies yourself there's a Facebook group that I've create that I created on they're called movie talk and reviews I'll put a link to the group in the comments so I mean in the description box so if you want to check that out everything you feel free to join and everything and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what you think about Captain America the Winter Soldier is it your favorite Captain America movie I know most people say it is I even know a lot of people that say it's their favorite MCU movie so uh, is it your favorite MCU movie also and your favorite Captain America movie or are there other ones you like better uh, let me know in the comments and thank you and have a good day